Now to an all new Defenders investigation uncovering major security improvements at Charlotte Douglas Airport. Tonight, our team learning about a $3 million project to increase the height of the perimeter fence. It's meant to keep out wildlife like deer, which have caused scary encounters in recent years. You might remember in 2017, a plane was forced to make an emergency landing after it hit a deer on takeoff. Federal data shows hundreds of wildlife strikes with aircraft at Charlotte Douglas. NBC Charlotte Defender Alex Shabad shows us what the airport is doing about it. Well, city officials tell me the airport fence is currently seven feet. That's about the same height as Shack. This project would raise it to 10 feet. That's the height of the rim, and that would make it nearly impossible for a deer to jump over. It's a controlled environment at Charlotte Douglas, from what goes up and down to what comes in and out. And this perimeter fence is key to that goal. But a 2017 incident where a plane hit a deer shows it's not a perfect science. It sounded like a um, like a tire popped almost. Runway 36 center, please. We had an aircraft hit a, um, a deer. I can understand birds happening. Deer, we need to check you into that. We got to do something about our fencing. Now the city is doing something. Tonight, our investigation is revealing a $3 million project meant to keep wildlife out by expanding the height of the airport's fence. So if there's a way to protect people, I think honestly that that price tag is relatively low. The airport falls in the district represented by city council member Luana Mayfield, who shared her own frightening flying experience. She says she was on a flight from Miami to Charlotte back in the 80s. We had to do an emergency landing and more than a third of us on that flight ended up having to go to the hospital. Though she never learned the cause, as the councilwoman says it makes protecting the public personal for her. It comes as we are finding just how frequently wildlife strikes aircraft at Charlotte Douglas. According to an FAA database, there have been 700 such incidents from the beginning of 2016 through August 7th of this year. Besides deer, we also found four strikes with coyote, three with turtles, and two involving raccoons. All of that evidence brings our investigation back to the fence. Mayfield says the new project raises the barrier from 7 to 10 feet. It's been proven that deer, which probably has the highest jumping capability, would not attempt a 10-foot jump. And she says the fence will go deeper, 18 inches under the ground, to keep other animals out. Of course, it may not help with birds, which we found caused many of the wildlife strikes. But the airport has a wildlife coordinator who showed us how he fires a pistol with a variety of noisemakers. If I see a flock of birds that's uh, potentially going to cause a problem, uh, that would be my first go-to. Fortunately, the plane that struck a deer in 2017 circled back to the airport and landed safely minutes later. Everybody's out in all the aircraft moving. Soon, there will be a new way to help prevent similar issues in the future. We saw and identified a need, and we're not waiting to address it until there's a potential fatality. We also looked at the number of wildlife strikes at other large airports to give it some context, and here's what we found. Atlanta, Dallas, and Denver airports all had more wildlife strikes than Charlotte Douglas. The city says the fence improvements are expected to be completed by the end of 2020. In Charlotte, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte. And if you have a story you want the Defenders to look into, email them at defenders at WCNC.com. You can also call or text the number on your screen, 980-2-WCNC-36.